Second Amendment, uh, gun control. You've been on the uh, uh, NRA's board since 95, mm -hmm. and this is a subject that you maybe feel more strongly about than any other. I believe that a person... Make your case. I believe that a person's uh, moral compass can be determined by how he references free men the right to defend themselves. The Second Amendment is so obvious to me, it's, it's insane that there's an argument. God gave, let's, let's pretend there is no document. Let's pretend brave families didn't leave the tyrants and the slave drivers of Europe so that they could practice the religion of their choice, so that they could speak out without being murdered, that they could produce wool without the king's men coming and taking it from them every season of harvest. Let's pretend none of that happened. Let's just pretend this guy named Ted Nugent parachuted onto earth and woke up one morning and saw these wonderful resources and had dreams of excellence and being the best that I could be. I don't need a document, and I don't need another man to explain to me that I have the right to defend my gift of life. And that there is an argument in America from Hillary Clinton, from Barbara Boxer, Diane Feinstein, from a whole gaggle of numbnuts who would try to tell me they will dictate where, how, and if I can defend myself. I find that preposterous. I find it unacceptable, and I will not accept it. I am a free man. Don't tread on me. A good, law-abiding citizen, not convicted of a felon. The Second Amendment of our Bill of Rights is my concealed weapons permit. Period. That's it? That's it. So no limitations of any kind that you no. can see? None. That's it. The limitations should be... Instead of arresting people for molesting children 24 times, I would rather the dad walked into the room, found a person molesting that child, and blew his brains out. I would rather that the lady in Massachusetts last month, who was taking her daughter to soccer, uh, who was carjacked by a recidivistic maggot who'd been in the prison system all his life, but was let out again because we feel sorry for him. Maybe he had a bad childhood. Instead of her being hijacked and murdered... I'd rather she just shot the bastard dead. But in Massachusetts, somebody decided she can't do that. So she's dead. I would rather she was alive and the carjacker was dead. I'm weird. I would, I would rather that the guy who beat this lady to within an inch of her life in Waco, on parole was he, phenomenal and beat her to within an inch of her life in front of her grandchildren with a whiskey bottle, I would rather she fell to the ground, pulled out a thirty-eight, and shot him six times in the chest and killed him. Am I weird? Because the guy is going to get out again. I don't like repeat offenders. I like dead offenders. 